Hi, so some exciting news this morning from Magic Leap. Um, they finally shipped something. Not the hardware yet, um, but the SDK. And, and probably for us devs, the SDK is, is just as important because now we can finally understand what hardware uh, it, Magic Leap is going to ship with and what we can do with that hardware and how we can access it. So that was uh, really exciting a few hours ago. I saw that. And um, what I want to do in this tutorial is kind of just do a hello world, do the most basic thing we can uh, just to make sure the tool chain uh, works for us. So uh, if you saw the link, it took you to a blog article that talks about getting started and asks you to come to magicleap.com slash creator to sign up an account. So I did that. And from there, you can download the SDK, which is actually a, a package manager. So download that. And for, uh, for Unity, we basically want to have the Lumen SDK in there because that has a local simulator that lets us uh, try out uh, our apps before the hardware is ready and then all the requirements for Unity. So once you've downloaded the package manager, uh, come into it and basically, uh, I've already done it, but you want to install the two Unity packages, the documentation, just so you have it offline, I guess. And most importantly, the Unity package, which has the local Unity SDK and samples in it. If it hasn't installed already, you also want to install the Lumen SDK so you can get access to the simulator. Cool. So how do we get started? So uh, the first thing we're going to do is follow their tutorial that they published. Uh, so we can step through that and we'll fill in a bit of the blanks in some of the parts that are confusing. So from that page, you can go to learn, open link a new tab. Go to Tutorials, and you want the Magic Leap Remote Hello Cube Unity Edition Beginner Tutorial. Uh, so the first thing it says is get started with the remote, but it actually doesn't tell you how to do that. So uh, let me show you how that works. Basically, if you've installed your SDK, it'll be in a folder that is under your name, Users Peter Magic Leap. And it's in a folder called ML SDK. So click on that. And we're currently on version 0.11.1. .1. And go to virtual device. That's the simulator. Uh, go to bin and go to UI front end. So there's an ML remote.exe uh, if you're on Windows. So run that up. And we've got a remote service that is going to basically uh, run all the devices in the simulator. So just press start simulator. Now you do get some errors when you start it up. Basically just ignore those errors. And uh, we want to wait for all these green lights to come on. So there's our three green lights. And now here's our simulator. Now up the top is our mini map of, um, that's our feet and our headset and what we're looking at. Uh, and the eye view, that's just the default screen right now. When we run our Unity app, um, this is actually what we'll be seeing uh, in Unity. Um, there's a few cool things in here. There's lots of uh, devices and you can configure how the keyboard and mouse shortcuts work for um, uh, basically moving your head, doing gestures. Um, what I want to show you here is we can actually load a virtual room. So I'm just going to create a load of virtual room. Um, they're also under the ML SDK folder, virtual device data, virtual rooms, example rooms. Let's just ro load the couch room. And so you see now we're standing in this couch room and there's lots of furniture and then we can use the SDK uh, later to um, actually interact with things. But for this one, we just basically want to get a cube in Unity that we can see in the simulator here. So uh, this is all cool. Okay, great. So uh, so we've got the simulator up and running. Um, the next step is to download uh, a version of Unity, Unity that is specific to Magic Leap. So if you click on this link here, um, it'll take you to a page that will let you download a technical preview for Magic Leap. So just come down here, uh, there it is. Download the installer for Windows or Mac. Let that install and, uh, and then launch that. So we'll launch that now. So 
So let's just create a, a hello magic leap project. Go create project. Cool, okay, we're in Unity. Uh, there's an error that just seems to come up, so just clear that. It doesn't seem to do anything wrong. Uh, and now let's just return back to our uh, tutorial. And from here, it basically says, create a project, uh, create a cube at two, three, uh, rotation 65. So we'll just create a cube. 3D object cube and it's set it two two meters up, three meters back, rotation sixty-five. Um, maybe we'll just make its height a little bit bigger, make it a bit more interesting. Uh, let's just give it a material as well. Why not? Create material. Uh, let's make it Pinky, pinky's good. And we'll just drag it onto our cube. Cool, so now we've got a pink cube. Save that, so back to our tutorial. Um, and now it says we need to set up our build system for the Lumen SDK, so let's do that. So we go build settings, uh, switch to Lumen OS platform. So I just press switch platform. Uh, it needs the path to the SDK. Now again, that is um, under your users, your name, Magic Leap, ML SDK, and that's the folder there. Select folder, we close that down. Now because we've got the simulator running, uh, we now go to the next step, which is basically here the zero iteration, which prepares the way Unity talks to the simulator. Uh, so let's go back into Unity and we just go magic leap, enable zero iteration. And it's bringing in everything we need. So we need to restart the editor, restart. Cool, so we're back in here. Uh, and now it says um, we can hit play and we will see our object in the space. So let's do that. Hit play. And let's go to our simulator. And look, there's our cube, pretty exciting. Uh, hello, why have we got the Unity Skybox in there? Okay, so there's a step missing in that tutorial. Let's just jump back. Let's press stop for a second. Uh, just like the HoloLens SDK and a few others, if you go to the camera and you you say, uh, instead of Skybox, you wanna use solid color and then select black because black will be transparent um, in the glasses. And then uh, save that, press play again. And we'll return to our simulator. And there's our cube. Now I can use the mouse to, to rotate around and the cube will, should jump back into its correct position. So it's a little slow to update um, on the screen. You can see in the minimap um, where I'm looking. The minimap won't show you the cube, uh, but it'll appear in the eye view down here. And we can move left and right. I'm guessing it's a little slow because it's probably jumping over to Unity every time you uh, update your position. And here I'm stepping sideways. You can uh, turn on and off the lights. You can uh, do different things in the simulator, but that's 
basically the workflow. There we go. We've created something in Unity and we have reviewed it in the simulator. Now we didn't need to use the actual Unity SDK package. Um, that's probably for the next level of the tutorial. Uh, and that probably has prefabs so you don't have to worry about turning off your, your skybox and turning it to black and all those kind of things. But there you go. You've done your first Magic Leap Unity uh, application. Cool. Thanks.